Of course, Comedy Works is a community staple and top club for comedians. Comedy Works South is open for all the funny and headlighting tonight through Saturday, the multi-talented, edgy Adam Ray. Adam, welcome to the show. April 1st, happy April Fool's Day. Thank you. Hey, how, what, what does April Fool's Day mean to you as a comedian? You know, April Fool's is, uh, it's where it's where you really develop your chops. You know, for me, it was a lot of wumpy cushions in fourth grade and a lot of, you know, it's it's where you actually, where the liars really have a field day. You know, kids that uh, are making up. For me, it was a lot of like, hey, did you hear the, the Mariners traded King Griffey Jr. for a bag of Skittles? And people were like, what? And I was like, April Fool's. Or, um, you know, for me, kids would say like, do you hear your parents got back together? And I was like, what? April Fool's. Oh man, that seemed a little too a hard one. for the early '90s and a joke. But um, you know, I know some true pranksters that relish this day. Every comedian has, I think, a different take on it. But um, you know, there is an added level of pressure where you're like, "Oh, should I do something like crazier today?" You have a lot going on. You're coming to Denver. Yeah. How does it feel to come come to Denver to come back here? Well, I've been trying to get back to the. Uh, Mile High City? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. John yeah. Elway land. What are you? Yeah. There's, um, you know, Denver and Seattle, where I'm from, were two of the first places to legalize um, stuff that, as my mom says, helps my hands feel better. <laughs> and um, and so it's exciting to come back to a place where, you know, you got two of the best comedy clubs in the world in Comedy Works downtown and south, which is where I'll be uh, Thursday through Saturday. And it's just a place where, you know, uh, you want to go somewhere where people are just all in it to win it and and are, you know, open minded and like, you know, can take some silly and can take some some rawness and uh, and the right amount of edge. And, um, you know, I like going to cities where I can do stuff too. like and there's an outdoors like you go somewhere like you know, upstate Connecticut or whether you're like, all right, there's six different Arby's I can, I guess, bounce around to or and just see who's got the cleanest bathroom. Like, what do I really, what am I, what am I supposed to buy a balloon from a fat kid? Like, there's nothing to really do, but Denver's got zoos and sports and and, and cool bars. I don't know what capacity you guys are uh, uh, doing, but, you know, are there any, um, are there ball pits open? Is there laser tag? Like, what's going on? Ball pits and Laser Tiger are a little iffy still, but hey, I mean, it's great that we're able to have you at Comedy Works, and that's the big thing, is that Comedy Works is open enough to have you here in Denver, so Amazing. as long as you're here. Yes, and my, show is, my show is, you know, different every night. People should know, if you just type in Adam Ray on uh, YouTube and plus crowd work, you know, um, if you've seen me before, you know that's a, uh, a, a part of the show, so it's always different. You know, you get an hour and change a show, and, and uh, there'll be quite a bit of that peppered throughout, but you know, a lot of stuff going on uh, in the uh, life right now. I just, uh, you know, shot uh, NBC's Young Rock, which is out right now. Um, I play Vince McMahon. Yeah, I got to become buds with The Rock, which is crazy. And so, obviously, like, we bonded over a lot of things. We both have the same body. Um, <laughs> we both, uh, okay, I if you're going to laugh, maybe this isn't the interview for me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, yeah, no, he uh, he's a sweet guy. And, awesome. you know, what people don't realize too, when you go quarantine in Australia, like I did for two weeks, because Australia just did things right. So they really made it uh, easy for us to, to shoot down there. Not a lot of people reached out. I don't know if you guys had double digit friends reach out to you during the pandemic, but I had maybe three tops. And one of them was Postmates being like, you good? Your soup's been down here for an hour. So I'm trying to like, you know, now seed through the the goodies and, and, and uh, you know, come, come into 21, uh, you know, just more full of life than than 2020 gave us. But a lot of stuff to reflect on. You know, my nieces and nephews had a tough time in a Zoom school. Uh, you know, my my nephew, he I don't want to say he's a complete idiot. He's a, he's six years old. He headbutts the fridge every now and then. He's not look. He's he better be a professional athlete. He's like you know he not that he needs to. We were playing heads up the kids game, and there was a rooster on the front of the thing, and. You know, you make noises of the rooster or whatever animal around so he can guess it. And my niece and I were like, ur, 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 ur. and he looked at us with all the confidence in the world and goes, wolf. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, no, but <laughs> your commitment, but you give him a little bit of credit and you're like, all right, like that's, 
you know, that's his cross to bear. Some people shouldn't be having kids during the pandemic. My best friend in Seattle is like, dude, I'm going to be a dad. Can you believe it? I'm like, not really. I saw you puke in a car you were driving like six weeks ago. Oh I have child services on speed dial. He's like, I know, man, carpe diem. I'm like, no, that's not where you're supposed to use that. He's got the face of a dad who's his kids are definitely going to call him by his first name. You know what I mean? Oh, like, they don't. he doesn't command respect. Like, he'll be like, go to bed, guys. And they'll be like, screw you, Dustin. And he's like, all right. <laughs> It's sad, but you can, yeah, whatever. Call me Uncle Dustin. Um, but I, th what was your question? Something about family? It doesn't even matter anymore because I think for everybody at home watching, they're just so excited to see you in Denver. Live in the flesh and yes. not over Zoom. There are pros and cons to like not having to be around people, but I'm fired up to be back around people. And Comedy Works has been doing things right since the get go. Shout out to Wendy. And um, come see me Thursday through Saturday. Excellent. All the fun. Yeah, definitely. Well, Adam, thank you again so much. It was nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Come to the show. Check out Adam Ray at the Comedy Works South April 1st through the 3rd. For tickets and info, go to ComedyWorks.com.